Hi there learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be talking about tariffs. Okay, um, now this is usually something that is important when it comes to tests and exams and there are different kinds of tariffs that you are going to encounter um, in the scenarios in your papers as well. So the first one I'm going to look at is municipal tariffs. We'll be talking about water and electricity. So in our example here, we see they mentioned to us that water usage is measured in kiloliters. Right, that's a thousand liters. So immediately we notice that a thousand liters is equal to one kiloliter. The rate of charge for water consumption is charged on a sliding scale. Okay, this is important as well, and you'll see as we go through why it is. That means basically you're going to be charged more as you use more. Hence, the more you use, the higher the rate. There we go. The following is an example of a water tariff structure that is used to calculate the cost of water consumption. So here they mentioned to us, we've got step one. For those using less than six kiloliters, they'll be charged 17 Rand 51 per kiloliter. If you use, uh, you know, more than six kiloliters up to about, uh, up to and including 10.5 kiloliters, you're going to be charged 24 and 39 per kiloliter. So what's important to understand here when it comes to the sliding scale is this. If you are going to be using, let's say, 8 kiloliters of water, you are not going to be charged 24 and 39 for all 8 kiloliters. No, it's a sliding scale, which means for the first 6 kiloliters, you are going to be charged 17 Rand 50. Then what's left? If we used 8 kiloliters for the month and our first 6 kiloliters is charged at 17 Rand 51, I'm going to be left with 2 kiloliters. Those 2 kiloliters then fall into this because remember, I used 8 in total. So the balance of my kiloliters will be charged at 24 and 39 per kiloliter. Now let's look at the example. The Medici family used 20 kiloliters of water during the month of June. Calculate the cost of their water. Okay, so they used 20, which now means when I look at step number one, the first six kiloliters is charged at 17 Rand 51. How many kiloliters am I going to have left? I'm going to have 14 left. Then the next from 6 to 10, what's at a jump of 4.5, the next 4.5 kiloliters is going to be charged at 24 and 39. Again, then the balance then will be charged at 34 and 63. So let's look at the steps. To calculate the cost, we need to determine how many kiloliters of the 20 falls into each category as I looked at it there, right? So step number one, we see that from zero to six, it's going to be six kiloliters that we used, right? Because that's charged at a particular rate. Then from six kiloliters up to 10.5, as I mentioned, that's another 4.5 kiloliters. Then from 10.5 to 35 kiloliters, um, that's another 9.5 kiloliters. How did I get to that? My balance that I have, and I subtract it from this, and therefore, when I add these three up, I end up with 20 kiloliters. So they tell us your totals must, or your totals per step must add up to the total water consumed. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that down again. We've got 20 kiloliters that we used for the month. The first six kiloliters falls into this category, which means I'm going to be charged at that rate. Then I'm sitting with 14 kiloliters left. This section here deals with the next 4.5 kiloliters. So now I've got 6 kiloliters that I've used and 4.5, which means I've used 10.5 so far. Okay, what do I have left? If I take the 10.5 and I subtract it from my 20 original kiloliters, I'm sitting with 9.5. That then falls into my third category. And there you can see how we've added that together. So it'll be then 6 multiplied by that particular rate it will be 4.5 multiplied by that rate and 9.5 multiplied by that particular rate over there okay so please remember that your totals must add up then they mention 
Once we have determined the amount of water used per step or per category, we can use the rate per kiloliter for that step and multiply the values to calculate the total cost of the water consumed. So there you can see my first step, remember, charged at 17 rand 51 per kiloliter. How many did I use? The first six were charged at that rate, and that gives me 105.06. The next 4,5 kiloliters was charged at 24 and 39, and the next 9,5 kiloliters was charged at 34 and 63. Then I can simply add those three totals up, and that will give me 543 and 80, which is what the person is going to be charged for the 20 kiloliters that was used. Okay, and this is how we then um, use that sliding scale that they will give us. And this is this is something common um, to, you know, get our total as to how much the person is going to be charged for the amount of water that they've used.